Hi, so this is a video about um, molecular and printed polymers, and we'll probably cover some of the keywords we'll cover is um, electropolymerization, electropolymerization is the presence of templates, um, cyclovoltammetry is a method for doing electropolymerization, and then differential pulse voltammetry is a method for doing um, analysis. So what I'll do is um, I have a good colleague um, and he was the lead author on this particular paper. And um, what he's done in this particular paper is he's taken a screen printed electrode. So um, SPEs, screen printed electrodes, are, I, I realize are quite well known to um, many of you. And he's taken a small sort of potentiostat um, like the Anna Pot. And what he's done is, um, I'll put some links in below if you're not sure about this kind of thing. Um, he's put the screen printed electrode in the front of the Anna Pot. And then he's able to do all his experiments, basically quite a small sort of experimental setup. Now what he's done is he's taken a gold electrode and he's electropolymerized um, four vinyl pyridine onto the um, surface of the electrode in the um, presence of pyrene. And what's happened is the four vinyl pyridine has, has polymerized and it's formed around the, um, the pyrene template. And it leaves pockets and pores. So let me use the next slide to kind of illustrate that uh, a bit more. So he's got four vinyl um, pyridine um, in solution, and he also has pyrene in solution. And he's using a technique called um, cyclovoltammetry. It's probably worth saying that the nice thing about um, electrochemistry is um, we've got such a host of techniques. So this software um, drives potential stats like this. And you can just basically choose uh, cyclovoltammetry, for example, and then here you're able to uh, set the parameters and do the polymerization. Now, what happens is um, every time you do a cyclovoltammogram, you lay down a um, a new polymer, or the monomer polymerizes. If you're in the presence of pyrene, then every time you lay down the, the polymer, you get pockets full of um, pyrene. And basically, you're sort of forming the polymer around the template, and that's the MIP, the molecular imprinted polymer. So that's the kind of functionalization step. There's actually a next step now, which is um, washing, because you've created a polymer in which you've got a template, and you want to remove the template, and you can wash it away, and you're left with pores and pockets that are kind of the shape of the molecule of interest. So you've basically functionalized the, uh, you've taken the working electrode or a screen printed electrode and you've converted it from a just a sort of bare surface, bare carbon or bare gold or maybe bare platinum um, into something that's functionalized. And now what you can do is you can sense with it. So in this case, he was interested in um, being able to detect polyaromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs. Pyrene was a PAH. What happens is this. Now, to, to sense with this, um, you can use what we call a um, reporter molecule, so ferrocyanide, for example. And now he's using a technique called differential pulse voltammetry. Again, this, that's the beauty of electrochemistry, that you can actually just change the technique quite readily um, and go from cyclovoltammetry for the synthesis of the sensor to DPV for the or differential pulse voltammetry for the analysis. Could have just as well been square wave voltammetry. But what happens is um, he takes a solution of ferrocyanide, does DPV and gets quite a large um, signal. But then by adding in um, pyrene, it starts to block and occupy the surface. And, every, and with concentration, the signal gets smaller and smaller. So then you have a peak height or signal, which diminishes with um, increasing concentration. And that's the source of the signal. So. What I was trying to explain tonight was um, electrochemistry is very powerful. You can actually um, form polymers directly onto electrodes using electropolymerization. But if you do it in the presence of templates, you don't just form a polymer, you form a molecular imprinted polymer. You can wash away that template and you're left with pockets and pores. And then you can use those in sensing. And in sensing, then he's, um, you can sense as these. Um, in this case, polyaromatic hydrocarbons rebound onto the surface by having a reporter molecule like ferrocyanide. So you have differential pulse voltammetry, which can detect ferrocyanide. But as the PAHs, the polyaromatic hydrocarbons, 
bind, then you block the surface and the signal goes down. So as always, if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. I'll try and put some links to some of the hardware um, that was used in this paper. And if you've got any questions, as I say, leave it in the comments. Okay, thanks very much. Appreciate it.